Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Rick, and welcome back to RimWorld. Uh, what did we do last episode? We finished our kill box. Really excited to try out our kill box Mark II. Uh, we started up some bionics. I think we got Sean a bionic eyeball. And you guys got uh, gave me some pretty good advice in the comments last episode. I got to appreciate uh, so, throw out some appreciations for that. It's raining right now. Do I have a roof over? I do. Okay, good. Just want to make sure there was a roof over this. Um... Appreciate for the advice. One little bit of advice was that if I use the tissue printer, I could probably make a nose for Sean and that I could definitely heal scarred stuff. So I think I'm going to put in a a uh, tissue printer this episode. But if I'm going to do that, I need to move this light bulb. Where am I going to move this light? You know what? I'll put the light right there. Move this light. I'm going to move the door over here, and then we'll put the tissue printer right here. Do I have access to the tissue printer at this moment? Have I, I do. I need 200 steel. All right. So that's what we need to do. Try to get 200 steel. Obviously, we'll, we'll, we want to keep working on our rocket ship to the stars. Last episode, I threw out the question, who do you think I should bring with us? And you guys were like, yo, bring everybody. A lot of you guys said that. One of you said, bring the people that like each other. Oh, my God. It is... Freezing cold in my house. I need to turn off the air conditioners. What do you said? Bring only the people who like each other. That way, uh, they'll all get along on the new planet. I think that that's a delightful idea. So, some stuff to think about. That's some stuff to think about. But this episode, like I said, we're going to work with some tissue printing. Oh my goodness. We're going to deal with this raid, though, first. Okay, this is kind of perfect. Oh my god. This raid is rolling deep. Okay, raid be rolling deep, but this could be a good chance to try out our uh, our new kill box here, all right? So, first things first, let's get everybody inside. Let's lock up the doors. Everybody get to the courtyard, all right? There you go. Lowry, yep, get in there. Um, let's lock you up. I'm going to go ahead and put it in order to flip this switch here. And you know what? Actually, Marcus, I'm going to let you go do that real quick, all right? Everybody else, get your butts inside. Whoa, and a manager back. Please tell me it's here. Ah, of course it's not here. Of course it's not. Okay. Man, just one time I would love to see a manhunter pack at the same time as a raid. And then just watch that manhunter pack tear up these raiders. All right. I like that the raiders are coming in from the south because there's a good chance that they're going to go into my kill box here. Fingers crossed. In the meantime, all my peeps, I'll just get some work done. You guys are free to go. I do have every door closed, right? I don't want... Make sure that they slip out some door I forgot to close. Okay, that's all the doors, I believe. All right, these guys are going to take their time. Wow, how many raiders are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 raiders? Good God! These raiders are not playing. All right. Let's, let's see what happens here. You know what I could do, actually, as well, is just for added strength... I can line up my dudes. You know what I'm saying? My dudes. All right. All my fighting dudes. We'll get them over here. Uh, the pirates are bringing in their assault. Who's got a major wrist break? Elkio. What is your deal, Elkio? In a moderate amount of pain. What is your pain? What is it? Oh, it's the mechanoids. Ugh. Sensory mechanoids. Okay. Whatever. He'll live. All right. Let's open you up. Send you guys out. Nope, not you, Sharon. Get your butt back there. You are not welcome. Oh, and all my animals, too. I swear every single time I tell them to not follow me. And they follow me. Do not follow me, animals. There you go. Go back inside. Cleo, get your butt out here. Oh, God. No, orange. Get back inside. Okay, good. They're coming in. I'm probably going to lose a llama. Probably going to lose a llama. Do a kill box! Oh no, little llama, run! Run! Run to safety! Okay, that's gonna blow. Holy butts. Oh no. Oh my god. There are a lot of people in here. Good, they're running. They're running. Woo! Okay, um... You guys are free to go. Oh my goodness. I, amazingly, none of my llamas... Well, one got hurt. One got minorly injured. I can't believe only one got hurt. Holy butts. That was intense. Okay, we got a couple survivors here. Um, who's this here? Are you good? You're gonna... Oh, you're a pyromaniac. Forget you. You're gonna die, my friend. 
Uh, what about you? Are you any good? Pyromaniac, what is with all these pyros? How about you? Pessimist brawler. You're good at a lot of stuff, but you're a pessimist. Hmm. Do I take you in? You know what? I'm gonna take you in, then I'll think about it, okay? Capture Sakai, alright? The rest of you guys, you could just bleed out here. So, we lost, uh... What is it? Two? Did we lose two turrets? One turret? I think only one turret. Maybe more. I don't know. Um, all in all, that was pretty good. Marcus got injured, Cord got injured, Cleo got injured, but they're gonna get patched up. All will be okay. Alright. Good job, everybody. Man, that was a 16-man raid. And I feel like we held it up pretty good. Okay, we've got a mentor. Yeah, Elkio. Oh, man. I, I, I really wish I could help you out. What can I do to possibly make you... Okay, you're nothing I could really do to boost your mood. Other than just try to help you through these sensory mechanisms. Sakai died! Oh, because we... Alright, Sharon couldn't get to him in time. Oh, well. Uh, we'll haul him away to where the bodies go. Oh, and also we can uh, unlock all the doors now as well. Here we go. Unlock you. Okay. Alright. Let's go ahead and put in orders to haul all this stuff back now. All of the weapons and whatnot. This guy's still bleeding out, man. This guy's really hanging in there. He's gonna die very soon, though. And, ooh, they left me some silver. Thanks, guys. Okay, all these bodies can be hauled urgently. We'll burn them in our cremator. So now we're talking steel, right? That's what we need to make the tissue printer. So if I'm gonna get steel at this point, I need to drill for it. I need to go steel drilling. Ooh, bulk goods traders. At my other base. Of course it's at my other base. Why wouldn't it be? All right, am I drilling for steel anywhere at the moment? I don't think I am. I think I need to make some more steel drills. And do I even have any steel to do that? Am I completely out of steel? That's kind of crazy. That's kind of been the MO of this game, is constantly running out of steel. You know what I mean? Hmm. Welp. What do you do when you're out of steel and you need to drill for steel? Oh, here we go. Never mind. Ha-ha! <laughs> I knew it! I was almost positive that I started drilling for steel last episode, but I wasn't quite sure. Okay, good. So we're already drilling for steel. So we'll be able to make our tissue printer. So I'll go ahead and just go ahead and put in that request right now. All right, tissue printing. Ship antimatter propulsion has been researched. Now it's time for the ship antimatter reactor. This is gonna be the big one. 16,000 research points. That's a lot of research points. So, I mean, I doubt we'll even be able to finish that this episode, honestly. I'm noticing that we have these wires there that I don't need there anymore. They've served their purpose, time to deconstruct them. The only thing that those could possibly do is short out and cause a fire, so... Let's get rid of those. You too. Here we go, just... Cleaning up loose ends there. And I'll need to put in some new turrets, too. To replace the old ones that got blown up. But that's not a big deal. Okay, so... How much steel do we have on hand right now? 511, that's gonna be enough to make the tissue printer. Let's get that going now. They finally moved that light that I needed moved. Boom. Tissue printer of the house. Sweet, sweet, sweet. And... How am I doing uh, on compound? Not, or component. I always call it compound. Not doing very good on component. Let's go into the world real quick. Let's consider going on a trade mission, huh? If I wanted to trade, the nearest town that will probably have component is right here. By Buting. How far away is that? It's a day away. I could definitely do that. How far is it to this place down here? 6.3 days. Holy moly. Hachi machi. That is quite a trek. Okay, so... By buting. You know what? Screw that. I'll make them come to me, huh? We'll put in a request for a trade. Um, who are we gonna call? Let's look at our factions here. Call the, uh... I don't want to trade with a the tribe. They usually don't have crap. You know what I mean? Tedstone, We're, we've got good standing with them. Let's trade with them. Let's go ahead and call... Nope, nope, nope. That's not what I wanted. Call Tedstone. There we go. We're gonna have to pay to request a trade, but I'll do it. Bulk goods trader. Let's go. 
And yeah, we're in good standing with everybody except the Saber Bats, which is awesome. I can't get in good standing with Pirates anyway, so... You know, all things considered, I think that we're doing pretty well there. Alright, so... Tissue Printer is getting built. And let's check in one more time to see what we need in order to build our next ship part, which is going to be the ship computer core. 10 advanced component and 1 AI persona core. Still waiting for a uh, request to take over Raider Camp and get that AI Persona Core, but as soon as I get that, you better believe that we're going to go do that. It's going to be pretty sweet. I've done that before in a couple of my other saves that I've played in my free time, so I am sort of familiar with what that's like going and uh, dispatching those Raider Camps. It's pretty exciting, actually. Pretty exciting. Pretty exciting stuff. Okay, so, oh, we need 150 Plasteel. I just realized. Holy butts. Okay, good. We have 200 or 2,013. So that shouldn't be a problem. Somebody just needs to hurry up and get their butts working on this thing, huh? Looks like we've already used the steel that we need. There we go. Storm's on it. Good job, Storm. Hooray! Our tissue printer is made! So I can repair scars, but somebody mentioned I may be able to make a nose. And I'm really curious to find out if I can. Surrogate, lung, heart, kidney, stomach, liver. Uh, not as far as I can see. I can't make... A nose, but let me check something real quick. Let's see. If I go prosthetics, I haven't even researched synthetic skin yet. That's the problem. I need to research synthetic skin. So, as much as I want to finish researching the ship antimatter reactor, uh uh, I'm gonna have to put that on hold, all right? Let's go ahead and finish researching synthetic organs. Let's get that going, all right? Because this episode. I want to get a nose for my boy. This is going to get really annoying, by the way. This Elkio switching between minor risk break and major risk break over and over again. Can I just tell you to rest until healed because you're so annoying? Okay, you're going to play pool. That'll hopefully put you in a mood. Okay, good. That's that's raising your mood. I feel like you need to play pool more. Innocent prisoner died? What? Who? No, they didn't. He died on his own. That wasn't my fault. You can't blame me for that, Elkio. You're just finding any reason to complain. Oh my god, that's a lot of clothes in here. Holy butts. It's a lot of dead people clothes. Let's haul them into the old storage area so we can trade. Speaking of clothes, I feel really good that all of our tattered apparel situation has been taken care of. That's done. Thank goodness. So many people had tattered apparel. I'm glad that we finally resolved that. Uh, how much steel do we have on hand now? Hmm? We have plenty of steel over there. I'm feeling like, oh, well, we don't have a lot of component, though. I, I want to repair those, uh, turrets that got blown up, but we need more component in order to do that. Leo is so close to being at max level in intellect. So close. It's going to be an exciting day when she reaches level 20. And she's super passionate about it. She's got a burning passion for this. So she learns at 150 times and gains two times joy from doing this. So, I mean, Cleo was pretty much made for researching. I love Cleo. You know, as far as people who are going to come on the ship, I think Cleo is going to make the cut. Now, if I were to take people who just got along with, with one another, let's go ahead and find out who those people would be, all right? So Sean here. Sean gets along with Sharon, Marcus, Cordelia, Storm. Elkio. That's surprising, the Elkio part. Looks like he's not too happy with Elkio right now. Or Elkio's opinion of him. Not too good. Um, also, these people don't like Sean. This person's okay with Sean. Alright, Sean. You're, you're on my short list. Uh, let's see. Cord? Cord seems pretty hard to like. Well, it's a 50-50 it's split on Cord there. Storm? Again, pretty split. Oh, man. Pretty much everybody agrees Orange is the worst. Uh, not a lot of friends with Sam, either. Sam likes a couple people. Nobody likes Sam. What is Sam's deal? Uh, same thing with Lagua. Uh, wow. Okay. I'm amazed. Okay, here we go. Lowry! A lot of people like Lowry. Almost everybody agrees Lowry's pretty cool. Lowry hates half the people in the colony. Marcus... 
Kind of same thing. Marcus likes a lot of people. A lot of people like Marcus. You know what, Marcus? You're making the short list, too. And finally, Elkio. Wow, a lot of people actually like Elkio. Despite the fact that he's a pyromaniac. This is going to be a hard choice. This is going to be tough, deciding who stays and who goes. Okay, so we've got a... The bulk goods traders are here. There's also an exotic goods trader passing by. I'm going to go have Marcus talk to them real quick. See if we can trade with them. All right. Because we've got quite a bit of stuff here. Look at all these alpaca we have. Could totally trade. Oh, you guys got component. Hook it up. All right. I'll take that component for sure. Um, feel like we could start selling some alpaca now. We don't need all these alpaca. I feel like if the alpaca doesn't have a name, we should sell it. You know? Um, like this one. Alpaca 4. You're out of here. Alpaca 2. Or alpaca 16, rather. <laughs> You're a baby alpaca. And though it seems like it's rude to sell a baby alpaca, they've been getting eaten alive around my base. So I'm going to sell it for its own sake. Same thing with alpaca 13. You're getting sold to keep you safe. Um, boomalope. You can have my boomalope. What am I going to do with the boomalope? I'm keeping my dog, obviously. I'm keeping my dromedary because that's the only one I have. Um, Goose has a name. I'll keep you. This alpaca is pretty old. And there's two of them. I'm going to sell you. Uh, Misery, that's a cool name. I'm gonna keep you. Um, you know, that's pretty good. I feel like that's pretty, pretty good. Right there. Oh, and I said that the dromedary was the only one. I lied, but we have two males. So I guess I can sell one of them. Because this guy's pretty old. He's 16. Wait, but this one's 32. How long do dromedaries live? Good God. Okay, I'll sell the older one. Here you go. You can have that one. Except... Give me my money, please, and my, my component. Thank you. All right. Marcus, now go trade with the bulk goods traders. Where are those guys? There they are. Let's go trade with Simpson. Find out what Simpson's got. Give me the goods, Simpson. Oh, what a nice sunny day. Okay, um, yep, you definitely have component. 39 of them. Oh, yeah, hook it up. Uh, and then I've got so much stuff to sell. One of you guys said sell Devil's Strand because it's worth a ton of money. And that I should keep it in good shape. I'm going to do that. I'm going to sell my Devil's Strands. Look at all that money I'm going to get for it. They only have 978 silver to trade with me, so... Actually, maybe I shouldn't get rid of all of it. Here we go. Um, zero out that, zero out that. Here we go, let's see. Just sell these ones. Here we go. We got a lot of clothes to sell. Like tons of them. I'm gonna get a lot of credit from these people, so maybe if they've got some good stuff to buy, I can go perusing the goods. All right, what kind of goods do you guys have? Like, you're probably selling steel, right? You have 293 steel? I mean, I could use steel. I could always use more steel. I know it's easy to come by, but I've got the money, right? See, I guess I will sell the rest of my Devil's Strand too now, I guess. Um, go. 981, that's going to take them for all they've got. Anything else that I can take from you? Maybe some chocolate? Treat my colonists a little bit? Alright. That'll be good. Except... Where did you guys drop that? Ah, right here. Thank you. Chocolate, component, and silver and steel. Awesome. Good stuff. Research coming along on the synthetic organs. All right, and then I got synthetic skin next. I am not going to end this episode until we get a new nose for Sean. Or at least try to get a new nose for Sean. Uh, okay, now that we have all of this component, I can go ahead and try to... Wait, where did that component go that I just got from these people? Did you guys pick it up already? I only have 31 component, but I should have more than that. There we go, 70. Perfect. They just dropped it off. So let's go ahead and start repairing the turrets that got blown up or weren't installed correctly yet. Let's see. This one's going to go there. Um, Alright, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Fix up that kill box a little bit. Oh, damn. There's silver right here. And a cargo part. And another alpaca joined! Yay! Alright, cool. So we sold an alpaca, we got an alpaca. What was in the cargo pod? It was... Ooh, mushrooms. Alright. 
some tasty, tasty fungi. And we've actually got a bulk goods trader on the comm right now, which is crazy. It's like feast and famine with these traders. No traders come and then they all come at once. Uh, okay, what do you guys got to trade? I got a boom rat. You can have my boom rat. Um, let's see. Y'all got component too. I'll take your component. You know it, man. Um, what else? You probably got some stuff that you can buy for me, right? Like, uh... Hmm. Can I have my camel hair? Sure. And my alpaca wool? Go for it. Oh my god, I'm actually getting a ton of money from you, actually. I didn't realize I had that. Look at how much alpaca wool I have. Holy crap. 2,575? That is entirely too much alpaca wool. Oh my goodness. Okay. Um, that's pretty good. Here we go. Hook it up, man. More freaking component. I love it. It's amazing. All right, there was something that I wanted to do. What was it? What was it? What was it? Ah, yes. Uh, I want to make medicine. So I have 22 medicines, and then, of course, I have all of this herbal medicine, you know? It's going to go bad eventually, though. I mean, it's going to go bad. It's going to take a long time, but eventually it will go bad. Uh, so I want to make some medicine. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in a medicine production area, a drug lab. But the good kind of drug lab, not like the Breaking Bad kind of Walter White drug lab. We're going to make good medicines, okay? So let me make sure that I have the research available to do that. I probably don't. Um, no, I totally do. Medicine production. Perfect. So what I can do is I can use um, the neurotramine, the herbal medicine, and cloth in order to make some medicine. And now you may be saying, but Rick, you don't really have neurotramine. That's correct, but I can grow it. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to replace my hops with neurotramine. Because at this point, I don't really need hops. It's not really a necessity. So what I can do is switch this over to Nutraleaf. There we go. Put in my drug lab. Mm-hmm. I'm going to plop it down right here, actually. Uh, you know what? I'm going to put in a few benches, too. I'm noticing that the people who are working over here don't have benches to sit on. There we go. Give me some benches. Is this another cargo pod? My goodness. Got some yayo. All right. Take the yayo. Um, where am I going to store that? Probably in here, right? Probably store the yayo in here. Let's see, let's make sure that I can actually do that. It's gonna be manufactured, drugs. Beer's not in there, good. Everything else is, perfect. So the yayo there. I'm not gonna let anybody use the yayo, but you know, if uh, we wanna sell it, we definitely can. Go into the, the drug selling business. Okay, perfect, so now that we have this set up, what I can do is I can make medicine. Oh, but you know what I am going to need to research soon? Is I'll actually need to research the Natural leaf refining, which is super easy. It's only 500 research points, but I can do that. Okay, now that we've got our drug lab shut up, I'm going to just put a couple shelves in as well so that we can put all of the components to drug manufacturing on there. There we go. That'll give us a little head start there. Okay, all my animals, I don't like them running around this area. I'm going to make a new animal area. I, I really don't like the idea of them running around those turrets. It's sort of creeping me out, actually. Um... So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to go ahead and limit the area. Clear. Let's see. That's not the animal area. Clear. Wild animal area. Yep. There we go. All right. There you go. You guys aren't allowed in there anymore. As a matter of fact, you're not allowed anywhere even near it, okay? I don't want you walking around this area. There we go. You have no business being there. Perfect. And, oh, alpacas. You need to be in wild animal area. There you go. Had a couple wild alpacas just roaming around wherever the hell they want to. That is not going to fly. So while I don't have the AI core to make the ship computer core, I can at least get the 10 advanced component that I'm going to need out of the way. So I'm going to put in an order to make 10 advanced component. There we go. We may as well just get that done. So then once we get the AI core, we can just immediately get to work building that ship computer core. We've got some visitors coming again. More people that we can trade with. I doubt that these people have much to trade, but we'll just go see what kind of wares they got. Just on the off chance that they have anything worth trading. What do you guys got? Uh, I can give you my yayo, so there we go. Get rid of that. 
Um, oh, cool. And you guys want my weapons? Yeah, I can give you all my crappy weapons, too. Here you go. Take all the crappy weapons. I don't want to give you my assault rifle. That I'm going to keep, all right? But everything else you can have. You only have 139 silver, though. You don't even have enough to pay for all this. So let's go ahead and take a couple things back, huh? I'll take that back. Oh, there's actually a pretty beat up assault rifle, but I'll take it. Um, what else? The... Oh, that's actually an assault rifle. I'll keep. There we go. Hmm. You know what? Just take it. I'd rather clear out the space. Here. Pay you a little extra, okay? That's a tip for you. For all your hard work. You guys, just the two of you came to my town looking to trade. I admire your moxie. Thank you for your service. Have a little bit extra. All right, is already hard at work. Oh, actually making medicine. So, oh, I actually have 202 Neurotramine. I didn't even realize that I had that already. I should have been. It was buried there in my list of stuff. All right, great. So we're already making freaking medicine. In that case, let me go ahead and put the ingredients that we're going to need for this thing right on here. All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to put medicine on there. We're going to put medicine, herbal medicine. We're going to put some cloth on there. All right. Going to be textiles. There we go. Some cloth. We're going to need that to make it. And then, of course, we're going to make the... Uh, where is it? The Neurotramine right here. There we go. Perfect. So at this point, I'm actually looking pretty good on steel. And I'm curious to know, if I were to make some steel deadfall traps, how much steel would that run me? 70 steel each? That's not bad. I think I'm going to put some deadfall traps in the hallways here. So that's 70, 140, and then that's uh, 210, 280, and then, let's see, that's 360. Okay, that's not bad. That's not bad. And, yeah, that'll, that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Got some deadfall traps there. Oop, we've got a drill exhausted. Let's go ahead and deconstruct you. And let's go ahead and find a new place to build these drills now, okay? So we can go ahead and just bump this guy over to this side. Drill you there. Uh, synthetic organs have been researched. Yay! All right, we're one step closer to getting that synthetic skin.